everyone and welcome back to Lone Fox. I am so extremely excited for today's video because it's going to be part one of a three part insane apartment makeover you guys that I've literally been working on for probably about three weeks now. This apartment makeover which you guys probably already could tell by the title and maybe even the thumbnail is with one of my friends Bretman Rock. I am so excited and like honored to be doing this. I've actually known Bretman for probably about a year now and how this kind of came to be is honestly kind of funny. So basically Bretman was on YouTube one day. He came across Lone Fox channel, watched some videos, realized it was me, and then was like, hey bitch, redo my apartment. And I was like, okay. Basically he just texted me and I was like, absolutely, this would be such a fun project. I've never done anything like this before. I've done room makeovers on my channel, but I've really only honestly done like five room makeovers. This is an entire one bedroom apartment with a bedroom, living room, bathroom, and kitchen. But I got three weeks to do it, so I felt kind of comfortable and I also did get a large-ish budget, large-ish larger than large-ish, honestly, from Bretman because, you know, he got the money. So before jumping into the video, I do want to talk about something that also, this video is just like a full-on excitement trap right at the beginning. I am so excited, guys, because today something is launching, kind of launching, that is just, I've been working on for months. LoneFox.com is live. LoneFox.com is live guys if you go to it right now there's just gonna be a splash page when you go there i am not gonna disclose exactly what lonefox.com is going to be but i have so much stuff in the works that i've been creating whipping together writing just all this different stuff that i've just been kind of accumulating for lonefox.com probably over the past six months and i've been working with a web designer developing the site for multiple months now and i am so excited for you guys to see this i don't actually have a specific launch date yet but if you do go to lonefox.com right now you can enter your email address on the page so make sure to enter your email. I'm not going to spam you. I'm not going to oversaturate your inbox with emails. I personally hate it. Literally going to send you an email once the site is live so you guys can get the first access to it. So make sure to enter your email address on the website. But we are here for a room makeover. I know the lonefox.com thing was fun. Yes, it's fun. But we need to get into the room makeover. So today's video is going to be part one of three. And basically in today's video, I want to talk with you guys more about my design inspiration behind this apartment, the floor plan, the empty apartment tour. There's going to be um, kind of like some drawings that I did, also placement of furniture, shopping vlog. It's just going to be a whole combination of kind of like the preparation steps prior to doing the makeover. And I thought this would be fun because it is a larger space to work with. There's absolutely nothing in the space. So I can share with you guys so, so, so much of the preliminary kind of steps prior to getting in there and, you know, really constructing it and putting it all together. So this video is actually going live on a Sunday, which you are watching on right now, if you are watching right when it went live. But Bretman's actually going to be seeing his apartment on Monday. Day. This has been a three week video in the process, so he's gonna see his apartment tomorrow So I already told him he's not allowed to watch this video, but let's just get into it and Bretman If you are watching click out right now or I'm not gonna give you your keys to your apartment tomorrow And I'm gonna keep them for myself and live in there because it looks insane Okay, honestly, let's just jump right in with an empty apartment tour I filmed this right when I was getting into the apartment now do keep in mind Bretman kind of already had a couple things in there because he was staying here for about a week before he went back to Hawaii. So I'm gonna share with you guys first the empty apartment and then we can get into the fun stuff. All right guys, so walking into the front door of the apartment, I already have the couch here, which is kind of giving it away, which I just had to do it because there's nowhere I can hide this couch for this little makeover because I had to have this delivered the first day I got the keys to Bretman's apartment. So this is kind of a little overview of the living area and also the kitchen slash dining area. So this is where the island is gonna go that I think I'm going to order. And then over here, this is the couch that I ordered, which is from Article, it is green velvet literally so freaking pretty it's a sectional that piece is going to go on there as well Bretman already had this futon which I'm going to get rid of and then this is the rug I ordered from West Elm which I'm really excited to roll out because I want to see what it looks like and I'm kind of also nervous because it was a final sale item so we'll see how that goes and then moving into here this is a washer and dryer and then to the right is the bathroom area which I'll share with you guys like probably at a later time because I think there might be some stuff in here looks like this I love that I said I'll share it at a later time and then I share it right now so that's that area and the bedroom looks like this and the bedroom's a bit challenging because the shape of this room is so weird with this big cutout wall here but Bretman already has a huge bed in here which is amazing which means I don't have to go get a bed for the space and he also has a super pretty dark gray velvet headboard which I love and this is a king size bed so I think I'm going to push this into the middle of the room um, and style everything around it and then he also does have this floor length mirror here 
hello, hello, which is great because I would have gotten something very similar to this and that's kind of the base. And he also got this, which is kind of cute. Just a quick little look at the floor plan. So in the floor plan, this is kind of what it looks like. All of the X'd out kind of gray areas are dead space. And then these are kind of the labels for the rooms. There's of course the living room, the kitchen, the bathroom, the bedroom, and there's also a smallish balcony on the outside. So after I got the keys to his apartment and got that empty apartment tour for you guys, I texted Bretman and I was like, please let me know what you like. Like, what do you like in an apartment? What do you like in a living room? Is there a design aesthetic you like? Are there colors you like? Like, what is your vibe? And literally he told me, do whatever you want. I don't care. I trust your vision. And I was like, oh, Okay, but then he happened to be in LA a couple days later after I had kind of already drafted up this whole idea in my head. I had a vision in my head that was working. He came over and I showed him my vision and literally he's like, I don't like wood. And I was like, you don't like wood? He kind of likes more of the black and the white furniture or like gray furniture pieces. If you guys have seen those like white wood, black wood, gray wood, as opposed to more warm tone woods. And I'm actually very, very a lover of warm tone woods as you can see. So I was kind of like a little bit scared at first, but then I realized, you know what, Drew, you can do this. So I kind of reworked my concept and I'm gonna share with you guys the mood board that I came up with for the space. So the living room is where I'm going all out. This is where the room is gonna be vibrant, it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be funky, it's gonna be fresh, it's gonna be all of the elements. So in this space, I really wanted to incorporate a lot of really bold patterns, prints, textures, but still have it a very livable and functionable space, of course. So these are a couple of images I found kind of to go in the overall mood or direction of the space. I really, really love these. I feel like it's honestly just like a modernized, funky glam. Like that's what I can explain it as. It's like a modernized, urban, funky glam. That's what we're gonna call this space. So I'm gonna start off basically by just sharing with you guys like a lot of the pieces and my ideas and my thoughts behind everything. So up in the corner here, I have this really pretty green sofa, which I'm so excited about. This is a sectional from Article. It's in a really bright green velvet, which I think is so fun, but I'm also going to have it in front of a super bold wallpapered wall. So this is the wallpaper that I'm using here. I got this one on Etsy. If you are curious, everything here is gonna be linked below just in case you want it for your own space or you just wanna check out more information on it. So these are kind of the focal points of the living room, but it didn't stop there because I also knew I 1000% wanted to do a bright pink neon sign. I feel like Bretman embodies a neon sign for sure. And I knew he needed one in his apartment. So this one's actually kind of funny. I'm reading it now. It is literally related to makeup, but it's going to say something completely different than this. And then I kind of just picked pieces based off of these three pieces right here. So I picked a coordinating rug that kind of incorporated some of those colors, but also had a little bit of a minimalistic element to it. And then I also went ahead and got this article piece down here. I ordered a lot from Article actually because I didn't have a super long time frame to uh, accept shipments for. So Article was really quick with shipping these items to me. And by the way, guys, nothing in this video is sponsored at all. So the coffee table, the black coffee table, and then the actual media console. These are two pieces from Article I think that are going to look really great. I have a light down here. This is just like an idea for a light. I have no idea what fixture I'm going to use. And then over on the left side here, I just have some decor elements. Like these are just some ideas, a couple of CB2 pillows up at the top here. I I thought it would be fun to do like green velvet on green velvet, but who knows? And then I just picked some brass, but I also wanna incorporate some silver as well. I wanna do kind of like a mixed metal vibe because the kitchen does sit right next to the living room and that incorporates a lot of stainless steel appliances. So I was thinking about how I should incorporate both metal um, in the form of brass and in silver. So this is kind of the vibe for the living room, the overall vibe that I'm going for. So we will see how that looks. So we'll see kind of how that comes out. And for the bedroom, I really wanted to kind of stick to more neutral colors because the living room has that really insane pop, but I also do want to introduce some form of color in the bedroom. I'm not sure what yet, and it's not kind of articulated in my mood board yet. I don't know if I want to do blue. I don't know if I want to do green. I don't know if I want to do orange. But here are a couple of inspo photos just to kind of give you an idea of what my inspiration is for the bedroom. I just want to keep it super minimal, super clean, but also still very cozy with a lot of fun textures, but keep the color palette to a minimum. Moving on into the bedroom, as you could see on first glance with this little mood board that I created, this actually encompasses a lot of very simple and minimal colors. I love the kind of idea of including a lot of whites, creams, off-whites. I also think I want to pop in a lot of greenery in there just to kind of liven up the space, but then also maybe incorporate bits 
bits of navy in there as well. I feel like that would be a nice little touch of color. And then also maybe some of this nice little aqua glass, which I feel like kind of brings in a bit of blue as well. I don't want to oversaturate this room because the living room's oversaturated for sure, but in a good way. So I kind of started off with the headboard because this is the only headboard that I could find that looked similar to the one Bretman already did have. And then I went ahead and I think I'm going to get this rug here. This is from Rugs USA. I just like the simplicity of it. I think it kind of has a Scandinavian vibe, but it looks very comfortable and kind of gushy and cushy for um, when you get out of bed in the morning. Some faux plants. All the plants in Bretman's apartment are going to have to be faux just because he's going to be in between Hawaii and Los Angeles. So we want to keep those alive. I thought these nightstands would be kind of nice. These are from CB2. They just have like the wood tone that Bretman really likes, the like the blackish gray wood tone with a marble top. I thought maybe some of these palm fronds could be nice inside of these little uh, vessels here. Maybe one of these heads also incorporated just a couple of the bedding ideas. I wanna stick with simple patterns um, like stripes. Uh, this is a really cool zigzag with texture, the woven one from CB2, which I love. So that's kind of the vibe for the bedroom. I just have a couple of images. I'm gonna play off of this for my base and just kind of see where I lead to. I feel like I've been talking for so long and I've never done a video like this before where I have not been able to actually see what I am talking about prior to it. Like I always kind of do things in steps as you guys know. And of course, I also have to implement a little bit of shopping in here. Like I want to share with you guys some of the shopping that I've done over the past couple of weeks for his apartment. Of course, I'm not going to share with you guys like the online shopping portion because that's me adding things to my cart and checking out and waiting for them to arrive. But I did go out. I went to like World Market, CB2, Target, Best Buy, a couple of really fun places that I ended up purchasing purchasing some items from that I'm going to share with you guys. So let's just roll on in to the shopping vlog. Hi guys, I'm in my car right now. It is currently approximately 1225 on the 4th of September and I am going shopping today for Bretman's apartment. I'm going to just look for lots of more decor items. I still do need two nightstands. I need a dresser. Don't know how I'm going to get that. I need a lot of faux plants. I need a lot of decor, trays, like kitchen accessories, all that kind of stuff. I basically need all those things and I'm about to start driving. So I'll pick this up in a second. Okay, resuming this, I'm actually in the parking garage with CB2 now. Um, I think I might want to also go to Z Gallery maybe home goods maybe world market i feel like the store has such great like modern very trendy cool pieces like decor wise and furniture wise and they're not super expensive they definitely are on the pricier side so don't like think i'm that these are cheap pieces at all All right, so I am getting the stuff for the bathroom right now, and I wanted to kind of primarily base it off of white marble to keep it pretty bright in there because the coloring is kind of yellow. But I also found this black marble trash can, which is really cool. Canister, a little hand towel, which I just thought was pretty with the stripes on it. Okay, I've been shopping for like mm, 30 minutes or so, and I found some really, really great items. I'm kind of honestly over buying because I can return anything that I don't end up using. Um, but I think I'm gonna be using all of it, so I'm trying to like also cautiously buy at the same time. But I'm in the kitchen area because I wanna get some kitchen stuff for him since he doesn't have really anything when he moves in. So I'm gonna grab some kitchen items and bathroom stuff, which I already got. I got a lot of stuff for the living room, like the decor wise. I ended up buying all of these items. Guys, my receipt. <laughs> I love this for me. My car, I just did the first trip, like is, insane like i've never seen my car like this before check this out it's just completely filled the car is filled um i probably actually have to do two more trips i guess a prius just really worked out for me i have the prius v if you were curious so it actually fits a ton in here i literally have two um counter stools a ton of decor a nightstand actually two nightstands um and a lot of other stuff in here so it fit all in here i'm gonna bring this over to brutman's apartment probably tomorrow morning meant for the Halloween time I think but I think I'm gonna grab one because it seems like something that I can decorate with and then I also got this pillow right here pretty generic but good for layering the target section right now is actually literally all fall so I'm gonna have to pick and choose some items I guess but I'm not really looking for much I just wanted to stop by because I was already going to Best Buy 
king size duvet which will literally be perfect so i'm gonna grab this because it's just like a white linen duvet and it's honestly pretty affordable for a white linen duvet and does it come with any sheet or any pillows or anything oh and it comes with two king shams as well which is great and then i also found this which is the organic sheet set it comes with two king pillowcases a flat sheet fitted sheet and it's a king size and it's like the stripes so then i'm gonna grab this too because that finishes almost all the bedding it's pretty simple and easy um, but then all the decorative pillows and the throw blankets are kind of going to make it more cozy and fun. These little tripod lights are so cool. I love the black with the brass. So I got two of those for the nightstands. I think these are going to look great on the nightstands. Um, I wanted to do lamps as opposed to sconces because there's already going to be a hanging one from the ceiling. So I figured I want something to ground it a little bit more in the nightstand. So I got these two options. This little wood clock is on clearance for 13 bucks. So I'm going to grab this because this is a great little wall filler if I need the wall space to fill. It's another new day. Um, it's Friday today. I am walking in my scary hallway. It literally looks like someone's been murdered in this hallway, or it's not even hallway, it's a stairway um, of my own apartment building. And I am now currently blue. What I was gonna say is that I am now currently headed to World Market and I'm also going to go to a lighting store that I always see because I drive by it past my house all the time and I'm gonna go there see if I can find two lights because I'm having an electrician come to install lights that don't exist yet. So I'm gonna see if I could find two lights, one for the bedroom, one for the living room and then I also want to get a chair and I found one at World Market that they seem to have in stock in stores so I'm gonna see if they have it. Lamps Expo store is the one that I was talking about that I always drive by. I'm gonna go inside because they have some really cool lamps in the actual wow what is that i think i need that for the apartment actually and then I go inside see if they have any pendant lights and hopefully they have them in stock you might have to order everything so we'll see because they have some cool stuff in here i'm out in like three minutes because honestly i looked at like some of the prices on the lights and they were like six thousand dollars and i was like absolutely not i can get that same thing at cb2 for like 250 so i'm leaving i'm at world market instead i'm not sure if they're gonna have lights here but i do want to get a chair here anyways so They have so many pillows, and this one's actually kind of cute with the tassels and the tie-dye. Looking at the lighting at World Market, and there are some really great options here. I just don't know what I'm really looking for, so I'm just browsing at the moment. All right, so I found some really great items. I found this pot, which I'm gonna put a plant in. I found two other faux plants, this little cat planter. Um, this globe here and this wall hanging piece so far. Okay, I'm literally burning up. It is 95 degrees outside. My car looks like this yet again, um, but I was able to get the chair that I wanted in one light. I'm actually gonna go to Ikea because I still have to get a dresser and assemble it. I'm literally like, oh my gosh, what is happening? So, um, need to get that, need to get that, all that, uh, just a lot. That was kind of like a little taste of what's to come in the next two videos. I am so, so excited and I hope that you guys are excited because these room makeovers I think are really, really going to shock you guys. It has been such a challenge and I hope that you guys do love this series. Definitely give it a thumbs up on this video. Let me know in the comment section below if there was something I should have done differently in this video. I've never done anything like this, so it's kind of new to me. I thought that sharing the step-by-step -step breakdown of how I kind of conceptualized this whole apartment prior to doing it would give you maybe a better understanding if you were to redo your own space or if you're moving into a brand new space or if you're helping a friend out with theirs or you're an aspiring interior designer just in general I felt like some of these tips can definitely help you out for sure and also guys do not do not do not forget to check out lonefox.com again linked in the description box below enter your email sign up on the website you're going to love it just wait it's gonna be so much fun it goes hand in hand with my channel there's a lot to come I don't want to share it all yet because I'm gonna share more as more videos come out okay I'm not gonna ramble on anymore check out lonefox.com check out Bartman's channel and stay tuned because this is going to be a fun one. I will catch you guys all in the next one. Bye, guys. <laughs>